groom's daughter on an absolute reign of destruction over the last several weeks and Varka Kai the Maori warrior just an absolutely impressive showing on his part level eight too this one to quote to quote uh, our old our old buddy this is gonna be a slobber knocker <laughs> indeed indeed they say they say for those that are tough as nails well I will definitely say uh uh, to quote our friend there again, there, there, Dwight, uh, Valkyrie is certainly as tough as a two dollar steak. I think it's it. and Bar Barca just as tough though, too. Uh, Katie, bar the door. This one's gonna be a hard one. It is gonna be some hard hitting action here for our main event here this evening. Don't forget, folks, we are officially one week away from UFW break say breakout and uh last week why it seems like uh you know what you're gonna be getting yourself into there for night for night for uh for breakout i checked everything over and it is now officially official it's gonna be you and the ring maestro tonka in a iron man match tonka told me to stay out of his business and then he proceeded to make his business my business i'm about to take care of some business Ooh. Taking care of business in public, if you will, huh? He won. He wanted to keep. He wanted to keep sticking his nose in it. Well, Mutley's about to get another one thing coming. Yay! Say, well, certainly, best of luck there. I mean, I, an Iron Man match is nothing to, nothing to be, nothing to shake a stick at here, mind you. That is a certain time limit. You just try to get the most falls within the time limit. Ooh, all I can say is, uh. Best of luck to you is all, all, all I can say there, there, right? And all I can say to that is tougher than the rest ain't just a tagline. You'll find out next week. Certainly look forward to say, looking forward to that. Everybody, we are now officially three minutes away, say, from the start of the show. Who's ready for some action tonight, folks? Sounding good to me, indeed. Also, has it just been me recently, or has someone been talking about trying to potentially get, trying to potentially get a, what was it, a funnel cake fryer back at the concession stand? Is that what I'm hearing correctly? Uh, you have heard correctly. Um, unfortunately, it keeps getting lost in shipping or the manifest or... I'm I'm not entirely sure what happens. Last week it wasn't... Last week it wound up in Abu Dhabi, and this week, uh... It seems to have shown up somewhere in Upper Mongolia. We're not entirely sure what's going on. Upper Mongolia? Oh my gosh, man, I want to get Temujin on that here pretty quick and see if he can find something. Holy smokes. We, we, we may have to send him to organize the search party. I'm not entirely sure. I say use those, use those, strong, use those strong eyes, if you will. Hey, right? right? I have never been to Mongolia before. I, I've met a few Mongolians in my life. Time and folks that eat like Mon like Mongols, but that's a whole different story. A whole different story, if you will. <laughs> I'm personally, I'm still trying to figure out how it was sh how it was originally shipped from Ohio and wound up in Abu Dhabi, but that's another story. Uh, you you know that I think FedEx is very confused. I'm thinking so, I'm thinking so if it's going all the way out to other parts of the country, uh. All I want to know is, I want the frequent flyer miles of wherever that package has gone on to, please. I agree with you on that. Not gonna lie, that would be absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially one minute away from the start of UFW Nightfall. Less than 60 seconds away from getting this show Underway, our referee Sue Ren our referee Sue Render is already inside the ring. She has made sure that the ring is secured. Secured, everything is looking good to go. Shaping up to be one hell of a night for wrestling action. Indeed, it is. Indeed, it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are officially now twenty seconds away from showtime. Say for those in the 
crowd, I know the folks in the back want to hear you scream. They want to hear you cheer. They want to hear those sound effects. I want you to make, I want you to blow the roof off this place. Get the sound effects rolling, y'all. Let them hear you. It is now officially 8 o'clock. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Good evening, UFW Nation. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently one week away from UFW Breakout, but, but say, but tonight, it, but tonight we bring you UFW Nightfall. I am UFW Nightfall Commissioner Drewski Hoxley, and I am also here with... Tougher than the rest, Dwight Slade, and also with... Your announcer for this evening, the Tartan Fox from north of the wall, Roxanne Jennifer Fox. Great having you, thank you, great having you guys over here. Great having you guys here with me, everybody. We hope you're all excited. We hope you're all stoked because we have got... <gasps> All of the action, all of the drama, and all the gratuitous violence you've come to know and love from UFW. So let's hear it. Let's make some noise. Oh, come on. I, you, I know y'all can do better than that. Let them hear you in the back. Let them hear you in the next sim over. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, let's get this. Hey, let's get this show underway. We're gonna take it up to the up to the ring with Roxanne for the official first badge announcement. Good evening, ladies and gentle fars. The stars are out. The moon is shining because it is time for Friday night nightfall. Our first catted match of the evening is a singles match scheduled for one fall.
our first competitor tonight making her way to the ring. Hailing from Sapporo, Japan, standing at a height of 5 foot 6 inches and weighing in at 168 pounds, our final climate, let's hear it for Sakura! UFW Nation not entirely thrilled with uh, the presence of Missouri here tonight. Missouri certainly wasting little time making her presence known here this evening. Of course, she's got a interesting battle on her hands here, dealing with a relative newcomer here to UFW. That's the that's the thing, and I'm sure you can speak from your own past on this. Uh, not knowing exactly what you're getting into definitely alters the game plan. Oh, it most certainly does. You kind of come in, like, kind of, kind of come in with essentially no game plan. You're not exactly sure how to deal with someone you've never met before. Is there is definitely going to have to be as crafty as ever to get it to work. Introducing her opponent for this evening. Introducing and making her UFW debut, hailing from the mean streets of Chicago, Illinois, standing at a height of 5 foot 9 inches tall, weighing in. At 151 pounds, let's make some noise and welcome Denise Conoso! You know what, Hoxley? I'm not entirely sure what to make of Denise, but this song is an absolute bop. I'm not going to lie, I am legit just rocking back and forth in my chair, feeling that beat. Kind of an interesting choice of attire here, going in with the, with the high-waisted slacks there with the suspenders. Not every day you see an outfit like this, but a little throwback to the 1920s, if you will. I can get behind this. Referee Sue Render shape making sure that everybody is ready. Nice goes back and goes ready against a dam. Ugh. Anyway, the bell has rung. We are now officially underway. And oh, you just could do, and we are off to the races. And Denise wasting little time there with an opening hand, with an open palm slap there, going there with a series of rights and lefts. Is there a wasting little? Little say little time there spinning back fist just taking down Denise. Looked like Nazura might have been just a little off the game initially and saw the opening and capitalized right on it. Indeed, indeed. Now both see now both ladies in the center of the ring, collar and elbow. Tie up now Denise starting thing things off, opening wrist lock. Is there now thinking quick on her feet there, flipping out of that, like flipping out of that into a wrist lock of her own? Missouri there with the top advantage there, going there with the see with the top wrist lock there. Ooh, triple overhead arm breaker, just trying to work on the arm as much as possible. Ooh, Missouri with a nice snap mare there, just taking Denise down to the canvas. And we've seen a we've seen displays of agility and technique out of Nazar before, just and seeing much the same here now. 
See, in, see, indeed, indeed. Now Nazora wasting little time there going for that pickup, though. But Denise, a couple of quick blows right to the stomach. Hopefully it's coming back in, Colin Botaya, but oh, Denise grabbing a head full of hair and just throwing Nazura back. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Here, 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 let me help you up. Making a little bit of a statement there against Nazura. Oh, and an even oh. bigger one there. Pick you up and knock you down just like a bowling pin. There with that discus clothesline just almost taking Nazura's head off there. <laughs> Denise definitely looks looks like she's she's proud with her work there. Looks like she was chuckling just a tiny bit there. A little bit satisfied with herself off of that one. Indeed, now Denise yeah, going no. Oh, going in with the Irish whip, but no Nazura coming off the roast. That sprint with that rebound wheel kick. Just taking Denise down. Don't think Nazura was quite happy about that. Might have gotten a little too confident there, gave Nazura the opening to respond. Exactly. Give give an inch, take a mile. We'll Nizura, say, well, Denise definitely took a mile there. Nazura's having none of it. A couple of quick stomps there from Nazura, keeping Denise on the canvas. Denise now working her way over towards the legs. Oh, going in with some swift kicks right to the back of the knee. Give that offense trying down. Not, try and knot up that hamstring and right into the heel hook here. Heel hook applied right there in the center of the ring. Denise has quite a has quite a ways to go there if she wants to try to get to the bottom rope. Or does she get to any rope for that matter there? Oh, wait a second. Both ladies now oh say both ladies are able to swing out of the hold. Pretty darn quick. Gotta hand it to Denise. That was kind of impressive breaking out of the heel hook there. Indeed, indeed. Both ladies now certainly feeling the effects of that though but denise coming in now with a series of blows lefts and rights and lefts and rights oh comes in with a swinging punch taking the zora down he's going for that pinball first pinball the matchup shoulders down one only a one count caught in the and off guard but just not enough for more than one here Indeed, not Denise certainly feeling the effects of that heel hook there on her leg, but not letting it slow her down as she, as she slowly starts picking Nazura back up to a vertical basis here. Say, dra say drags her, spins her around, whips her over to the top, over to the ropes. Here comes Nazura coming up. Oh, look at that. An emerald flosion type slam just knocking Denise down. A little bit of impressive athleticism out of the ring, Taylor. Indeed, going for the pinfall yet again. Shoulders down, one, two, no, only a two count. Okay, got one more on the count that time, but still just not going to be enough to put Nazur away. Say, not quite enough to take, say, to take Nezera down. Say, Denise, not too much on the technical side of things, maybe a tiny bit, but certainly going in with those knuckle blows, definitely, say, definitely staying on top of things as much as possible. Denise now, say, taking a little bit of a breather, but now taking Nazura back up to, her, to a standing basis here. Uh-oh. Sets her up, picks her up, tries to go for a oh, powerbomb, right. but no, wait a second, Manami roll there from Nazura. It's a pinfall, shoulders down, one, two, but no, only a two count. Manami roll out of nowhere. Ew, frustration setting in for Missouri here. You were saying about Denise, though, uh, maybe not as much technical, maybe a bit more of a striker, uh, maybe a bit, maybe a bit more bare knuckle. You see, you see. Nothing wrong with see, nothing wrong with that. You can. See, now here comes Nazura coming off the ropes. Arabian presses on both sides of the ring. Nazura definitely showing showing quite a bit of athleticism here. Athleticism and agility. A couple hallmarks of Nazura's game plan. 
Indeed it is. And now, oh, look at this. Nazura now going in with a series of body blows of her own. A couple of kicks as well, too. They go in up to the top, go into the middle, but no, goes in for another boot. But no, Denise catches it. Spins her around. Oh, cats her with a dragon whip. Oh, did you hear that from Nazura? Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Get up, you primitive monkey. Do not call me a monkey. What is this oh, monkey they... business? Get back to the fight. <laughs> Fair enough. Nazira goes in for a for, tries to go in for a spear. Gets none of it though. Absorbs the blow. Does Denise rolls out the way? Denise now going in for the pickup on Nazora. Picks her up, whips her around, say whips her around, sends her over towards the corner on the east side. Denise now going in with those shoulder thrusts, taking that shoulder right into the midsection there of Nazora. Nothing else, that'll take the wind out of you. Take that shoulder a few times the like solar plexus. So you get the wind knocked out of you. You're certainly not doing doing a whole much of it. Doing a whole lot, but oh! Picks her up there with that very nice side throw. Lifts her up and drops her, but no, deciding not to keep her to the floor. Wants to keep doing some dance, some... Punishment here goes for the pickup once more, but Nizora now aiming low, punch to the gut, in there with a jawbreaker, just taking. That may, have, that may be costly on Denise's part here. Indeed, it might. Nizora now going up to the top rope, keeping her back, say, keeping her back to her. What could she be thinking here? Going to the top rope. Ooh, diving knee collapsy. That'll be good for a cover. Let's say the great, the great leap collapse. Collapsy applied, shoulders down, one, two, three, no! Only a two count. Gotta hand it to Denise, though. She's showing some remarkable resilience in this fight. They showing, showing them just how tough the folks from Chicago can be. Zora's definitely showing off that athleticism here. She's known to known to do but will it still be enough to take denise down goes in for a in for a punch but no denise blocks blocks and answers with some strikes of her own there goes the punches there but oh wait denise coming back jumps up with a luthez press yes, yes. More of the punching, please. i couldn't have said it better myself if he were here denise now say picking nazura up going in with a couple of series of Blows there, and that, ooh, that backhand punch is knocking Nezera down. Shoulders down once again. One, two, only good for a two. Nezera staying in this fight. Uh, quite some impressive action between these two so far. So far, so good. Something tells me if Croven were here tonight, he'd be finding a new favorite with all the, all the punches that Denise is bringing here tonight. You might be right about that. Uh oh, Denise running Denise. over to the, to the referee shouting, That count was bunk! Not entirely sure that arguing with Sue Render is gonna get her very far, but it's definitely gonna give Nazar an opportunity to get to her feet. Certainly is. Oh! Nope. Oh. Shouldn't have kept her back on her opponent and give Nazar time to go up there with a nice release. Tiger overhead suplex. Drops a drop in Denise right on the back of her head. Is there now wasting very little time there going in with those stomps? Just able to flip Denise over over to her back. Definitely not looking for good for Denise at this moment. Oh, right into that knee. 
As we're now going back to the knee, driving that boot right into the side of the knee of Denise. If Nazar does enough to damage that knee, does that make Denise into Denise -ent? Sir. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good pun. Uh, that's true. That is true. See, leave, 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 see, leave the puns to Trixie and uh, the other person in the Discord who likes to use puns, but oh! Look at that jawbreaker there from Denise. Again, it looks like Denise is not really knowing... Resting a lot of knowledge as finesse, but certainly, oh, look at that jumps, jumps up there with a punch right to the head. She calls that the Beezer Clipper. I'd say it definitely clipped something. Clip right on the top of Nazora's head. Head she did. Now Denise wasting little time there, just going right on top of the. Of Denise with a series of blows, just punch after punch after punch, right onto De right onto Nesra's head. UFW Nation, you wanted more of the punching? Well, you're getting it. Yes, yes, more of the punching, please. Denise staying on the offensive here, picking Nesra back up, roughly from the head of hair. Swift kick to the gut from Denise, just just doubling Nesra over. Denise now. Coming off the ropes. Goes to the side here and boom! Mm -hmm. Curb stomp! Curb stomp. Denise calls that the Chicago stomp. Will this be Hell enough to get the stomp with that? Will this be will this be enough to get the win here? One, two, three, that's it. Enough to get the match one. We now take it over to Roxanne for the official results. UFW Nation, here is your winner by pinfall, Denise Canoso! You know, it's not every day I see a pair of black and white wingtip brogues just stomping somebody's head into the canvas, but it surely was impressive here. What an amazing showing on her debut match and a win on her debut for Denise Canoso. A fashion statement and an athletic statement, in fact. For anybody that says you can't look stylish and also look like you're about ready to whip somebody's backside, well, to let Denise show you how it's done. Certainly a heck of a way to start off UFW Nightfall here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent start to the evening here. And before we get into the next match, though, we have a couple of bills to pay here. So if I can have your attention just for a little bit. I'm going to turn it over to Roxanne. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Hawksley. Tonight, through this little store, selling special animations for those intimate moments... Jasex Freight Maps and a variety of other products. Visit DrowsLittleWebsite.com for links and more information. Thank you. Indeed, indeed. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn more information about any of our sponsors as well, too, back in the lobby behind us, you'll see a lot of different names of a lot of our different sponsors. Make sure and click on, click on those names to get a lot more information. Of course, helping hey, supporting our sponsors also supports us. Make sure and go check them out, folks. All right, with that being said, said we've got three matches going on tonight there. I think the first match is done. What said we get into, more, into some more wrestling action here, folks? I'm absolutely down for some more wrestling action. Let's have it. Indeed, indeed. Let's now take it back up to the ring to Roxanne for the official, stay for the official announcement. Your second match of the evening is once again a singles match. Scheduled for one fall. Firstly, making their way to the ring.
Get lost in the bright lights of Vegas and say hello to the Sin City sensation. Standing at height of 6 foot 2 inches, winging at 189 pounds, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's hear it, let's make some noise for Sylvia Knox! When you hear the music go off, you can't help but dance and sway a little bit here in your ch in your chair for the Sin City ringtail sensation known as Sylvia Nuts. Indeed, you're right, Hoxley. Uh, I'm the master of the capoeira style of fighting. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, capoeira. Capoeira. <laughs> Look, look, I can, I can pronounce Lariat, Bulldog, and certain other things. Uh, 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 words are hard, man. Uh, uh, trust me, you're not, you're not alone, my, my, feather, my fellow Southern brother. Trust me. <laughs> words can be tough if you're not careful. You can see Sylvia rocking the purple here. Her gear based off the, the G League Ign the Ignite basketball team here this evening. Always come up with different colors, inspired by different sports teams as well. So always cool to see the different colors she got on this play. She definitely she's definitely one for representing her hometown teams. Nothing wrong with supporting the say the hometown team's colors. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Referee Sue Render making sure, sure that Sylvia Nux is clean and ready to rock and roll. She is saying she is clean. And introducing her opponent. Standing at height of 5 foot 8 inches, winging at 189 pounds, hailing from the forest of the Bandon, passing me up and join the adventure with the Rebandon Major, Dana! With Andrew Ranger, another fan favorite in the UFW Nation. Indeed, he is running around the ring. You know, growing up, I was always told that capes were not always the certain way to go, but he certainly rocks the cape and makes it work very well. Getting all the whoop whoops behind him, getting the crowd on their feet is the Rathandrin Ranger, known as Danner. He also made a pretty... He also made a pretty convincing link at the uh, UFW Saturday morning show, just as long as I never have to try that accent again. I think you're going to be clear from having to, to worry about that accent for a while. I think you'll be okay. Mamma mia. Here we go again. All right, referee is checking on both competitors, making sure they are ready to rock and roll. Remember, this is the first, this is the very, very first time that two of these, say these two have actually met in the ring. Still find that hard to believe, but uh, at any rate, this is going to be quite a contest. Here we go, both of them meeting in the center of the ring there. Danner, say, going say going in the customary rights and lefts right there from the get-go. Oh, Sylvia Nux answering back with a couple of shots of her own. Oh, going there with an elbow stripe and a, and a chop there. There, now Sylvia answering back with another couple of, say, a couple more blows. 
And she goes for, or comes off the rope, goes for the leg Larry, but gets dodged underneath. Then they're coming back this way. Oh, lands a, goes for a Superman Ooh. punch and nails it right on the snoot. Back and forth, back and forth, and Denner coming up with advantage to them at this moment. Picking her up both, so both now in the middle collar, and about tie up there. Denner transitioning there into a wrist lock. So Sylvia now using that acrobatic ability she's got, flips over into a wrist lock of her own. Sylvia now whipping Denner off towards the ropes. Beautiful standing drop kick, taking the Revenge and Ranger down. Going in for a quick pinfall, shoulders down, and shoulders down, one, didn't no, only good for one. So far, a pretty even contest. Uh, both these competitors are impressive athletes in their own right. Indeed, they certainly are. Both of them back up to a standing basis here, back to the collar and elbow. Tie up here, trying to see who's going to get the advantage here. Oh, standing knee strike there from Danner. Danner now whipping... Sylvia over towards the turnbuckle, comes in with a hard corner splash. Ooh, pardon me, splash. Going to the top rope. Oh, say, say, take, say, taking her to the corner, going for the one to tens there on the corner. Oh, takes her out of the corner there with a, with a beautiful belly to belly suplex. Dana now coming off the ropes. Big leg drop there right across the chest of Sylvia Nux. Going in lateral press. Shoulders down. One, two, no. Only a two. And right back on the attack, though, too. Danner wasting little time there. Dropping the double axe handle there right onto the forehead. Of Sylvia Nux, now Danner going over to, say, going to the turnbuckle, climbing himself over to the top rope, going to the high rent district here is Danner. Will it pay off? Here he comes off the rope. Big cross body right across the chest of Sylvia. Goes in for another pinfall. Shoulders down. One, two, and no. Only a two. Good for two, but the Sin City Sensation definitely very resilient. Indeed, she is not wasting any time staying on the floor. Now Danner coming in with a series of blows with a right and a left and a right, but no, that last right is caught there from, from Sylvia Nux. Now Sylvia coming back in with a couple of shots. Right there, shoves her, shoves him back over to the... Rose Danner bounces back, rebound, rebound, wheel kick, just taking Sylvia down. Danner not wanting to keep Sylvia down for long, picks Sylvia right back up, whips her over to the ropes, comes back through, goes in. Oh, there it is, the call of the wild. That might, that might be it, or it might be a prelude. Could be it. Shoulders say shoulders down one. Two and no, only a two. Sylvia Nux staying in this fight. Uh, See, the resiliency of Sylvia Nux definitely on display here tonight. There, oh, Danner may have taken a little bit too much time there. Nip up Huracan Rana just taking, taking Danner back down to a vertical basis. Ooh, and a basement drop kick. Double feet, say double feet right to the snoot of Danner. Now it's Sylvia's turn coming, say coming in like a house, house of fire. Oh, wait a second. Um, uh oh. The, the band is tuning up. She is tuning up the band, ready to rock and roll. And there she goes off the top fork springboard. 180 leg drop there. Right across the chest of Danner coming through. Oh, could be in going for the handstand. And drops the leg right on the chest, right on the chest and neck. Uh, stopping on there. Oh, look at that jumping reverse senton. Gets the back right across the shoulders there of, of the Rathandrin Ranger. Getting up lateral press. Shoulders down. One, two, three. No, only a two count. Denner able to get the shoulder up. Um, the Ranger 
Ranger is still in this one. Certainly not wanting to give up any time soon. Both these competitors showing a lot of energy. A lot of, say, a lot of wanting to run the ropes as well, too. A lot of back and forth going on here. Oh, when you think when you think about it, you have two people right here in this ring right now that are both impressive. At, impressive. Oh, wait a second. Tries to go for, and, oh, oh, tries to go for cop in the Vegas lights, but no gets gets cop. But turns it around. Dragon whip kick right to the side of Danner's head. Looked like Danner had the caught in the Vegas lights scouted, just wasn't expecting the turnaround on it. Wasn't that went for say went for another pinfall? Shoulders down. One, two, no. As soon as the pit say say breaks the pinfall, and now Danner sliding outside the ring, trying to catch a quick breather if he can. It looks like. I think Sylvia might have surprised him with that one. He had to take a moment to regroup. Say real say realizing when Sylvia gets going may not have what he needs there. Oh wait a second, goes for the clothesline though. Danner rolls underneath it. Comes off the say go bounce off the second rope rebound neck breaker taking Sylvia down. That moment might have been what Danner needed to regroup and set himself up and oh he's look he he might be looking for it here folks. Danner just just stalking. Sylvia like a shark swimming around its prey, but no, it looks like Sylvia got up and rolled out the way. That say, but say Danner having to change directions here, going with a series of blows, but no, Sylvia fighting back with a left and a right and a left and a right, right. But now look, using those capoeira moves though to dodge that with a big spinning kick right on the side of the head. Hits it again. Oh, the capoeira sweep! There it is into the ring tail special. Danner might have had the Caught in the Vegas Lights scouted. I think Sylvia may, may have had the Hunter's Mark scouted as well here. That certainly may have been the case. She has definitely done her home, homework, and so has he. Whips him off to the ropes. Oh, comes up, jumps over. Big missile drop kick, taking Sylvia down. The action is going nonstop here. Folks, not slowing down anytime soon. Danner now going back to the ropes. Could be looking for, they again going for, looking looking for Mark of the Hunter, but no. So, say Sylvia rolling back upward. This is Sylvia. really beginning to look like Sylvia has the Mark of the Hunter scouted out. Both these folks now going back in for the lockup there. Wait a second. Oh, oh. Swift kick to the gut and just drives Sylvia head first with a pile driver. Ooh, I felt I felt that from over here, folks. As someone who's gotten dropped on his I head a few too many times. Ooh. And I think he's looking for the mark of the hunter again. I'm thinking he may be thinking the third time's the charm here. One thing you definitely don't want to do is is announce your moves before you do them. But Danner going for the third time here. Oh, it gets it goes oh low sweep, low sweep. Go, oh, low sweep. Go. He nails the circle. Cirque 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 One, two, three, and that's it. What a catch from Sylvia with the Cirque de Wole for the victory here this evening. We now go to we now go to Roxanne for the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by pinfall, Sylvia Knox! I am not going to lie, everybody. My heart is still racing from seeing all of that tonight here, folks. An impressive display of athleticism on the part of Sylvia and Danner here tonight. Let's... You have to be nation. Give these folks a hand, man. So you can hear Sylvia shouting over to towards Danner, saying, "Hey, Danner, thank you. Your your match with that darn Casador helped me fight off my fear with Honey Stinger." Danner said, "Woof. Well, you're quick enough, enough, and you pack a wallop. I was glad to see you prove yourself to Honey." 
and definitely she proved herself to Honey several weeks ago and now proved it here tonight with a win over the, the Rathandran Ranger here tonight. Indeed, you're right, Hawksley. Uh, looks like Sylvia might be on a little bit of a roll. It was hard to tell from bell to bell who was going to have the upper hand here. They say the advantage swapped so many times it was hard to count. There were say there were more changes there than I know what than I can count on one hand. That was certainly an exciting one for the record burst. Everybody, did y'all enjoy that? I know I certainly did. Oh, that was a lot of fun to watch. We are say we are say say everybody don't go anywhere. We are we say our say our next match for the evening is going to be our main event match between Valkyrie and Varka. But before we do. We got a little more. We got a few more bills to pay. So if I can have your attention for just a second as we take a listen to our, from one of our sponsors, Fauna is this sponsor. Don a pair of comfy jeans and don't forget your sweater. Let the crisp piney air refresh your senses while enjoying a relaxing horseback tour of our scenic northwest U.S. equestrian town. Skate the night away at Moonlight Rollerway. Bowl that perfect 300 at Milky Way Lanes. Or get that hole-in-one at Level Up Mini Golf. Head to Whitetail Station for a train ride that you cuddle sometimes are sure to enjoy. All that and more to explore at Fauna. Please visit our website at fauna.club. That's right, fauna.club. Definitely supporting, say supporting our sponsors up support us as well too. But now I say the support is over. Who is ready? for the main event. That being said, let's take it up. Let's take it up to the ring with Roxanne. Ladies and gentle fars, it is time for your UFW Nightfall main event. Wrestlers, make your way to the ring. There he is, Varka. Say Varka Kai, coming, okay, coming now with that very strong Haka right there on the say there on the entrance ramp there, folks. Whenever that that happens, I just want to stare and look because those are just so much fun to watch. Varka Kai, not one to intimidate easily, but uh, definitely one to be make his presence known.
here she comes the Iceland say the Icelandic Yeen coming say coming out to the ring certainly has made a very large impression in a short amount of time here here at in here in UFW a large impression it was one way of putting it another way would, would be absolute rain of destruction There have not been very many, very, say, there have been few people that Valkyrie has come across that she has not just been able to absolutely dominate and annihilate here in this square circle at UFW. Right I now still, she's currently, go ahead. I, I still think I've got it figured out though. I know why she's so angry. Why is that? Because she's a hyena stuck in Iceland. It's cold. She's not happy. It's terrible. You know, if I were stuck in Iceland, I'd probably, I'd probably be pretty annoyed too, not gonna lie. Ladies and gentlefars, your main event for the evening is a singles match that is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, in the corner to my left, against the blue post, hailing from Takaka, New Zealand, standing at a height of 6 foot 2 inches, weighing in at 250 pounds, raise your voices for the Maori warrior that is Varka Kai! And introducing his opponent, hailing from Furukaren, Iceland. She comes from the land of the ice and snow, where the midnight sun and the hot springs blow, at a height of seven foot even, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Queen Yin Valkyrie. Ooh, Valkyrie certainly getting a, a bit of a mixed reaction here from the crowd here tonight. And your official for this evening is Sue Render. Very nicely done, done there, Roxanne. Referee Sue Render checked over both opponents, making sure they are ready to rock and roll. He was like, all right, match clean. Y'all ready? Valkyrie saying it's his last chance to run. Varka saying, let's do this. Well, the bell is officially rung. We are now officially underway. Main event time here at UFW Night Nightfall. Both of say both say starting in the middle of the ring. Colin Elbow tie up there. Ooh, a huge headbutt though from Valkyrie whipping say whipping Varka to the ropes, running backwards, big jumping clothesline right into the corner. Valkyrie now running back, trying to regain some say getting a little bit more momentum here, but no. Varka they firing right back though. Firing back, punch to the gut, doubling Valkyrie over. Varka now coming with a series of those Muay Thai knee lifts right into the stomach and the solar plexus there of, of Valkyrie. Varka now coming off the ropes, going right behind Valkyrie, trying to get back up to her up to her feet, but no, comes in with a huge bulldog just planting Valkyrie's head and face, face first, right into the canvas. You were saying, you were commenting earlier, there haven't been many that could, that have brought the fight to Valkyrie. Varka, though, definitely not backing down. Indeed, she is not, she is 
not as you can see Valkyrie taking Barka back down there with a say with a fireman's carry. Barka not staying down for very long though gets back up to a vertical basis. Opponents just just staring daggers right into it. He didn't see he was going to make the first move, and it looks like it's going to be Valkyrie coming in with a series of rights. A couple of rights, then they say, then some left showing that those that anger and those aggressive tendencies she has. Oh, and now Valkyrie just stomping a mud hole in the into Varka and walking it dry. Valkyrie now coming back over to the other corner, going coast to coast. Oh, running hip attack, running 260 pounds of yin backside right into the face of Varka. That's going to leave a mark. Sue telling them to get out of the corner. Now both say... Say both competitors now on opposite ends of the ring. Looks like it might be Varka's turn. Oh, oh, gets behind. Oh, gets behind Valkyrie with a, with a snap German suplex with the bridge. Shoulders down one. No, only a one. Only good for one, but making a statement to Valkyrie here. The Maori Warrior not going to be afraid of her. Not going to be intimidated. It took the words right out of my mouth there, Mr. Slade. Not wasting any time is Barka now going <clears throat> there after the leg. Big kick right behind the knee. Follows it up with the head, but right over towards that knee as well. Barker looks like he may be changing tactics here, picking her up. Oh, holds the cravat, drives the say, drives the knee repeatedly right into the head of oh, Valkyrie. I don't care how big you are, you get shot in the head that many times, you are gonna go just a tiny bit loopy. This might be the turn that Varka needs to take charge of this match. Indeed, it could using those say so using those. Those strong and powerful legs there, but the knees right into the chest. Say so comes up with a big knee right in the head, but oh! And a massive headbutt just rocks Varka back. Oh, and a huge haymaker punch. Just taking the, Ma the Maori warrior right off his feet. I don't think he certainly knew this was going to be that easy as Valkyrie just picks Varka up with the quickness and reverse long blower. Double knees right to the back. Valkyrie now coming off the road. Big seated senton dropping 260 pounds. Say of Yin right on to Varka's chest. Now, oh, foot on oh, the... come on. The absolute on the chest. arrogance. Oh, Say so showing off, say so showing off a little bit here. That's technically a pinfall. Shoulders down. One at they forcing him to kick out after that. Just the absolute arrogance of that. My God. It's one of those going in with someone like Valkyrie. Valkyrie knows she's strong. She knows she can throw people. No, she can throw weight around like it's nothing. Well, asking you shall up and firing right back. Uh, asking you shall receive series of blows, knocking Valkyrie they say back over to the corner, and now Varka going in with a couple of shoulder thrusts there, right into the midsection of Valkyrie. Hops up, big monkey flip, able to move the 260 pounder, say across the ring. Ver Varka though. So far, demonstrating that he can go blow for blow with Valkyrie. That's a feat in and of itself. Certainly not intimidated in the least. Now changing tactics here. Going there with a grounded head scissors. Just wrapping. Say, wrapping those legs right around the chest and the head. Say, oh, Valkyrie. Referee asking Valkyrie taps out. Valkyrie just shaking her head.
Valkyrie just digging the backs of her heels right in towards the, say, towards the canvas going over to, to the ropes, forcing Valkyrie to break the hold. That's some powerful leg work there, just dragging herself on 250 plus pounds of Varka Kai across the ring. Make that break. Indeed. Speaking of powerful leg work there, Valkyrie pops back up off the ropes, nails a huge super kick. Almost taking Varka's head off his shoulders, but now Valkyrie. Uh oh, Valkyrie going to the top rope. Iris maneuver there. Oh, goes for the diving elbow, but no. Not able to connect as Varka is able to roll out the way. Varka saw it coming and got the hell out of Dodge. To be fair, if I also saw a 260-pound hyena, hyena trying to dive their elbow at me, I'd probably move too. I mean, that's just smart tactics. Shows very strong ring awareness there from... Varka now Varka wasting little time here going right next day next to her and just laying in the stops. Varka definitely I think realized early on that he knows he has a fight on his hands dealing with some of the strength of Valkyrie but that is not intimidating him in the least. Varka now going <laughs> in for the go ahead. A fight on his hand indeed but he is meeting it head on. Certainly is. Picks her up, sets her up to the kneeling bases there, going in with those shoot kicks. Those shoot kicks, and that one big kick right across the head, just almost taking Valkyrie's head off. They rolls her over to a lateral press, shoulders down, one, two, and only good for two. Good for two, not going to be the three, though. Valkyrie's going to stay in this fight. But Varka is just... I got to... I gotta admit, I'm impressed with Varka just going head to head with Valkyrie here. It was someone, someone that you know is innately stronger. A lot of times you want to use your speed or you want to aim low. No, Varka decided to go with this head on, apply directly to the forehead. And whatever ever body party gets his hands on right now. <laughs> right now he's choosing he's choice choosing to go for the hair, it looks like. Varka now sending Valkyrie over to the ropes. Comes back through. Oh, Ooh. look at the strength. Massive one-handed spine buster. Using that momentum, slamming Valkyrie down. Going for the pinfall. This could be in one, two. It, no, only a two. Can't believe that only got two. The whole, the whole damn arena moved. See, the ring was definitely shaking just a little bit from that massive one arm spine buster. Varga just showing an amazing feat of strength from that alone. <clears throat> yes. Varga not, say, not finished up with Valkyrie whatsoever. Say, flips Valkyrie back over to a kneeling position. Parker now comes off the rope. Oh, tries to go for that running, Wait. that running knee, but no, it looks like he gets caught by Valkyrie. Oh, ho, ho. grabs the leg, mm. sink, sinks him up to a head and leg capture overhead suplex. <laughs> Valkyrie saying not nearly enough, and just up, over, and down. Ooh. Valkyrie certainly having none of it. Pigs Varka, say Pigs Varka up by the head, sends him over to the, over to the mm. other side of the ring, going coast to coast. Big running drop kick right to the head of Varka. Just driving him into the turnbuckles of that drop kick, and now with the knees. Oh wait a second! Varka sec firing back though. Come, going back with a, say, with a similar headbutt right into the head and snoot of Valkyrie. And with the takedown. 
with the takedown and a series of blows and punches right to the head and face. Oh, but Al Valkyrie oh, going back. Goodness gracious, this has become, as they would say, I'm going to say it now, folks, an all-out slobber knocker here, folks. Katie barking the door. Oh! Ooh. Oh, all the strength and rage sending sending Varka up and over with one arm just slamming him down like a rag doll. Just an absolutely massive toss. Valkyrie not having any of it there. Varka oh Varka, Varka. coming back though with a single knee face buster. Right to the snoot, taking Varka down. Taking Valkyrie down, sorry. Barker not staying down for too much longer. Getting Valkyrie back up to a vertical basis here. Picks her up. Oh, what a beautiful Oklahoma slam. If you're Varker right now, you've got to be thinking to yourself, what can I do to put this yeen away? Barker certainly throwing everything but the kitchen sink over at Valkyrie. Valkyrie... Say, so dragged herself over to the ropes, got herself back to a vertical basis here. Both these competitors showing a massive amounts of strength and sheer grit. Uh oh, you hear the screaming rage coming there from Valkyrie. She runs coast to the coast to coast ticket on that supposed pain train. Big body splash, but now Valkyrie now answering back with a couple of couple of one to ten blows of her own. Absolutely crushing corner splash. And whoa, wait! Oh, as soon as she was about ready to drop down, Varka saw an opportunity, grabbed the legs of Valkyrie, and slammed her down with a huge power bomb. But not enough to keep, not enough to keep the yin down. She pops back up to her feet, meets, meets her face, say meets Varka face to face. Both competitors tie up right in the center of the ring. A frustration's got to be setting in for Valkyrie now, not being able to put the Maori Warrior down. Indeed, now Valkyrie now whipping, say, whipping Varka over to the ropes. Comes through, mm. ooh, huge, huge, huge roundhouse kick. But now sets him up, wait a second, boom! Flips him over she, with that huge power slam. I believe she, I believe she calls that the journey to Helheim. Journey's certainly going somewhere, wherever it's going. It was certainly a recipe for pain there. Come on. You don't give up until I say you can. Back right now over to the rope. Stalking. They stalking Var say Varka like mad, but no. Varka able to stand, able to stand his ground. Going in with a left and a right. And that another massive left. Run, that massive roundhouse kick and the power slam, and he's still fighting. Still fighting back. Now Valkyrie whips, say whips Varka back over to the turnbuckle. Here comes Valkyrie like a head of steam, shoulder thrust right into the chest. Now Valkyrie setting Varka up on the top rope. Uh oh, Varka, say Varka setting them up. She could be thinking superplex here. Oh, this could be devastating. Very well, oh. could be huge superplex off the top rope. That definitely shook the ring, folks. Felt that over here. Big thunderous superplex taking both of these competitors down. Both of them taking quite a bit of damage here already. Now Valkyrie slowly getting back up to her feet. I have not seen a lot of movement there from Varka. Uh, he could be knocked out, folks. He, 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 he might be out of here. Valkyrie going in for the pinfall. Shoulders down. One, two... Three, and that will do it! We now send it over to Roxanne for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by pinfall, 
Valkyrie Grins An impressive showing. Both of these competitors gave it absolutely everything they had. Varka able to almost basically go toe to toe, pound for pound, strike for strike with Valkyrie, but still was not enough to overcome the strength and rage of Valkyrie Grimm's Dotier. Time to get the job done and uh, wait a second. Wait, hold on, what's this? Oh, that Brazilian Mambo music can only mean one thing. That is the that is the music of one Julia B. Barbosa. Julia and Valkyrie have certainly had a uh, say definitely no love lost between these two here as of late. head but here's the deal i keep what i want and what i want is to keep my partner what i want is to stay a siren what i want is to become the first wufw tag team champion with alavesta the best partner i could ever have or ask for and now, unfortunately, it seems that you're in my way. You see, I always get what I want in the end. And now that you're in the way, it appears I have to take care of you a little more permanently. So, this at the FVP this Friday at Breakout, you, me, Last woman standing match. No rules. Weapons, whatever hold you want. We will just go at each other. And the last woman standing gets to be the siren. What do you say? You win? If you're dead set on being destroyed, so be it. Whoa! There you have it. I think we just added ourselves another match. We have just added ourselves another match next week for UFW Breakout. It's going to be Valkyrie Grimms Dotier and Julia B. Barbosa in a last woman standing match. Last woman standing to determine who is the siren. That is gonna be one hell of a fight. Indeed, it most certainly will be. Who is going to be ultimately be to be the permanent tag team partner of Ala Vesta in the Sirens? Well, looks like, folks, if you want to find out that answer, you're gonna have to come back next week. You are certainly gonna have to come back next week for UFW. Breakout, ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially done. Say with all all the matches here for tonight at night. Follow everybody, did you have a good time. I said that y'all have a good time. Much better, much better. Everybody, thank you all so much for coming out to UFW Nightfall here this evening. I have been. UFW Nightfall Commissioner Drewski Hoxley. We're also here with Tougher Than the Rest and Ready to Fight Next Week, Dwight Slade. And also with I've been your ring announcer for this evening, the Tartan Fox from North of the Wall, Roxanne Jennifer Fox. We do thank you all so much for coming out here here tonight for UFW Nightfall. Don't forget our next show 
coming up on sun on Sunday at say at seven o'clock here here for Sunday night frontline. I believe the main event for that one may have already been announced. I believe we're going to be having having one Alexander Leandro Calahira going up against the UFW Women's Women's World Champion in Escarlata. Say don't say it, don't forget also say every Monday as well too at 5 p.m. SLT we also have UFW Unbroken. Say no official word has been say has been thought yet but it has been has been said through the grapevine that potentially our UFW world champion Oliver Wonderful may just be defending his title this Monday who will it be against you have to come back around and find out thank you all so much for coming out here this evening ladies and gentlemen as soon as the music is over I say our meet and greet will be starting in the lobby as soon as the music finishes also as well say mr slade if i do not see you between now and friday i do want to wish you say best of luck and have a say best of luck next week at breakout against talk well one cowboy to another thank you for that and uh if tonka if you're out there listening you best be ready son Certainly going to be one to remember, ladies and say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming out.